Mastering adverbs of degree, boost your English fluency. Hello learners! Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're taking a deep dive into an exciting part of English grammar, adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree can transform your English by giving extra details and making your sentences more informative. Before we understand their purpose, let's first understand what adverbs of degree are. Adverbs of degree are words that modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs to tell us more about the intensity, manner, or extent of the action or quality they're describing. They answer the question, to what degree, or how much. Some examples are, very, quite, almost, just, and, to. Now that we understand what they are, let's discuss why we use adverbs of degree. 1. Intensity. Adverbs of degree help us express the intensity or strength of an action, quality, or another adverb. For example, in the sentence, she is extremely tired, the adverb, extremely, shows the high intensity of her tiredness. 2. Comparison. They can also be used for comparison. For example, she runs faster than me. Here, faster, is showing a comparison in speed between she and me. 3. Limitation. Some adverbs of degree express limitation. For example, I almost forgot about the meeting. The adverb, almost, shows the limit, indicating that I didn't completely forget about the meeting, but it was close. Why should we care about adverbs of degree? Because they are essential for precise communication. They allow us to express ourselves more accurately and add variety to our language. For instance, there's a big difference between saying, it's cold outside, and, it's extremely cold outside. The second sentence, with the help of the adverb of degree, provides a more precise description of the weather. And that's a wrap on adverbs of degree. These handy grammar tools can take your English from good to great, adding depth and precision to your speech and writing. Practice using them, and you'll see your English proficiency soar. We hope this video was helpful, and remember, learning English is a journey, not a destination. Keep learning, and you'll keep improving. See you in the next video.